Hello, everybody. We are live. Some of us are. <laughs> Thank you, fishing. Um, quit barking at the cat. We're going to have a few people here late. I think Ed's going to be a little bit late. So I'll just watch for him. And Priscilla is putting the little guy to bed. So she might be here in a little while. And I have no idea if Blackie and Sarah are coming. I haven't heard from them. Robert is going to be here, but then he had a friend call him say that their water pipes had burst, so he went to help him. So that's what's going on. So we're just going to kind of wait and see who shows up. And meanwhile, you're stuck with Bob and I. That's right. Damn so, hello Yellowstone. Hello Mike. We're doing hey, Patty hi. Why are we always yelling hi? Um, let's see. All things fish hi. Scotty hi. Unfiltered aquarist hello. Not Nola chain hello. Nola. I don't know how many other people I missed here. What about me? Damn it. Oh, I saw um. Sky was in here earlier, I saw. Sky Dancer, hello. Yeah, yeah. And thank you for the super chat fishing. <coughs> I think that might be it for now. So that's what's going on. I'm going to be working on a card that if I get it done before the stream's over, I'll give it away tonight. And if I don't get done before it's over, I'll give it away on Wednesday's stream. What is it? What's it look like? Well, you'll probably make up something. You can't I, really tell what it is yet because I just barely got it sketched in, but I'll hold it up. I call them as I see them. Hmm. <laughs> you have no idea. I see a, I see a beak. No, it's not a beak. It's not? It's a horn. Oh, it's, okay. It's two big horn sheep. There's a female in the back and a I see male, a young yeah. male in the front. Yeah, I see it now. That's the first one I have seen. Goats, not quite. It's two big horn sheep. Two, a two-headed giraffe. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> It's in my bad habits. But anyway, like I say, if I, if I finish it tonight, I'll give it away tonight. If not, I'll give it away on Wednesday's stream. Hey, Mark. Haven't seen you for a while. How are you doing? Hey, Mark. What did you say, Noah Jane? She said she was close. Goats. She said two goats. And actually, that's close. But it's two big horn sheep, but not not it, not the big boys. It's a uh, mama and a young one. Closer than giraffes, or two headed giraffe. Hi, kiwi. And no, Mike, it's not an unsolicited deck picture either. A what? <laughs> oh, Yellowstone. I'm trying to get my glucose stabilized. Too much running around the land. Few days in this week. You can't eat a whole lot of it, but I can have dark chocolate and then cranberries unsweetened and nuts, almonds, and cashews. Probably a lot of you saw my little short little video of unboxing the long fin panda quarries. They are so tiny. I mean, they're really small, but they're so cute and they're doing really well. I didn't see it yet. Where did they come from? From Jess at Mains, Tails, Fins, and Fur. Awesome. It's ones that I went on Dan's stream. Remember? Yeah. And Dan is sending me the wood cats on Tuesday, so I'll be doing an unboxing on them. I'll do another short little video when I get some, just some, a little short clip of the Corey swimming around. 
Yeah, Mike was dragging you in his stream about finally putting out a video. Was he being a smart aleck? No, he told the truth. <laughs> Unfiltered Aquarius says, has anyone tried tortilla chips with crunchy peanut butter? That doesn't even sound real good. Crunchy peanut butter. I don't know how those two would go together. I like them both, but I don't know about together. Of course, you could put peanut butter on anything. Right. Oh, okay. should I do it? I don't know if I should do a calendar or not this year. Everybody might be getting tired of my calendars. I still got the last two years unopened. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> But I didn't buy them to use them. You can see marks in the past. <laughs> but I might do a calendar. I've been thinking about it. It's about time to think about it. If I'm going to do one. Why don't you do a novel novelty calendar? Novelty calendar? Uh-huh. What would I put in that? Some novelties. I don't know. Mark said, look at the old one. A pop-up calendar. <laughs> There's an idea. It didn't take you long. <laughs> oh. Oh, Mark said that. I'm behind you. <clears throat> We go stand. I gotta get a drawing done for his stuff real quick too here. There you go. Santa one. Good night, Rico Stan. Cartoons of everyone in the fish fan for the calendar. That's a good idea. Well, yeah, but there's only 12 months in the year. Right. You can do like a lottery to see who you draw. I could do like a, a small desk calendar with some of the ACEO cards on it. Right. That's a good idea. Yeah, become a member before Pam starts hitting buttons. Naked oh. Fit Tubers calendar. Hi, Big D. <laughs> uh, Is that star brown on that sounded like a bear? He's making um, Mario know that she's she's letting Mario know she's the boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tries that with Tibby, and Tibby whips his ass. <laughs> the little dog we got in the ark is precious. I mean, he's ready to go. He comes over and begs to be picked up, and he won't let you put him down. You have to fight him to get him hey, down. Steven. House broke. He's four pounds. Hi. Hey, you, Stephen. Hey, Dee Dee. All right. Bless her. She's wanting to tumble. Speaking of Jess, where is that Jess at? Jess um, from Granny. She had a funeral to go to tonight for a remembrance of life. Like I say, it's like 
everybody's gone today. I might not have a real long stream if nobody shows up, but I'm going to go ahead and move the camera down and get to work on this drawing. I can send you some pictures, Pam. Some pictures of what? For an adult content calendar. No. Not of me. <laughs> Not Let me see here. Oh, oh my you got a ten dollar super chat. Oh, and there's Blackie. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Star said, "Get the hell in here." Hell in star. So where is the other half? Um. She's on the road at the moment, I think. Um, she left my house uh, about an hour ago. Had to do the shops and then she's going to her house. Ah. So are you yes. going to work on a drawing tonight? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm not, not really feeling arty. But, you know, there's a potential that I'll just scroll some nonsense as we go. What? Well, that can always be good. Oh, hello, everyone in the chat that's saying hello. So, I'm not drawing. Oh, unfiltered aqua aquarist. Haven't seen you for yonks, do All things fish, Yellowstone, DD, Patty Shaddy, Stephen P, Mike. All the cool kids are here. Who would sing? And the flies as well. You got flies? So many. It's gotten really warm. I've got just a few, like very few that are still around because it's getting cold outside but because it's getting cold outside every time you open the door they all want in they all want in where it's warmer yeah oh patty made me feel so welcome what did patty say she said you didn't you didn't need anybody else. We said you and she said, Oh yeah, and Bob, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hey Chappie. I sent you a link if you want to come on with us, chaps. Pardon me. I silenced mine, Dr. Black. I tried to. What's that? Stop Sorry, what? I silenced my burp. Just I don't as, understand this concept. I know. Just <laughs> <laughing burps. laughs> it was weird. You burped out loud, and I'm like, I thought I silenced that. Hmm. <laughs> Chappie's out drinking, so he can't stay long. You can drink in here. Wasn't wasn't he out doing karaoke one other time that we did this stream? Yep, I see a pattern. He must have a spot. He's sheltering. Yeah, I must have a spot on Saturday nights. Oh, ferocious dog. I should be getting a package any day now. You should be getting one any day after I go to the post office, Mike. Thought of it so many times this week and then didn't do it. Just didn't. I didn't haven't gotten everything into the mail yet either, but although I've been getting getting everything ready to go. I was gonna go today, but you know, I have this thing where I don't wake up very early in the mornings and the post office closes early on Saturdays. 
so I didn't make it in time. Hey, Daniel Valles, Fish Grains. Hi, Daniel. I really need to adjust my sleeping pattern to where I get up before noon. Yeah, I'm having to stay up all night with the dog. It's winding down way too slowly. The doggies. He's terminal. He's got that canine yeah. cognitive disorder, kind of like dementia. And uh, he's 18. I mean, what are you going to do? And I'm having to hand feed him now. Yeah, right. Some scungy art. The 42023. <laughs> yeah, probably so, so clean. Maybe mid twenty twenty three the way our our system's going at the moment. G'day Dan, Daniel Velez, how are you man? And post postmaster keeps doing stuff that makes the post office awful. Yes. They so need to get him out of there. Yeah. Yep, they like the dude who runs the whole postal system. I yep. put some fireball in my coffee. Nice. And I accidentally put about half and half. <laughs> so the coffee's like warming me up from not necessarily from being hot. <laughs> That um, that sounds like a happy accident, Pam. <laughs> so clean. That's funny because I haven't even had a wash today. My hair's all fluffy and shit. I mean, wild. I'm frightened to smile because my teeth are probably yellow. Pam's on the juice tonight. Yeah. Why are we always yelling, Sid, you're so quirky, Mom? <laughs> Pam, could I call you Mom? No. Why? Because you're too old to call me Mom. I could call you Mama. That's the way no. the Southerners do. The men always call their wives Mama. Mother. Oh, I remember my dad when he used to want to like make my mom mad, he'd call her Ma. Oh my Ma. God, he hated that. <laughs> oh, g'day, Derek. Long time no see. Hi, Big Sam. Big Sam. Oh, Vic's in here. Hi, Vic. How you doing? Hey, Derek. GRB, g'day, mate. Good day, GRB. Oh, I missed it. There was a fly and I missed it. Dang it. I want all the flies y'all can catch for my chameleons. All the flies. I don't catch them, I squish them. They won't eat them if they're not squirming or flying. See, there he goes. I wouldn't eat him. How's your brother, baby? Like I say, Priscilla's probably going to be here, but she had to get the little guy to bed. And Ed just said he was going to be late because he didn't think he'd make it home in time. So I told him I'd watch for him. Somebody uh, was in a stream a couple of days ago, maybe yesterday, maybe today. Do you said, have said they won a, a piece of Sarah's art the night before. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did a, um, it was my 100th live stream on Tuesday night, your time. 
So we did um a couple of impromptu giveaways. Nice. So yeah, um, I'm on both, like, both the nice victors eight. are in the room. Stephen P won one, and DD won one as well. Nice. I can't remember which one of them said it, but that's great. What am I on? I'm on. I've been putting it. 198. I'm on 198. 198 live stream? Yeah. Seems like only yesterday. You do a couple a week, though, don't you? Um, now, I didn't for a long time. I just did one a week, but I've been doing two a week. Nice. For the last maybe months or so. I don't know. And then, of course, I miss one once in a while because I'm lazy. Yeah, I've been there too. <laughs> Sometimes it's very necessary just to skip one for your own mental health. Oh, it was Didi that was bragging about it. All right. Yeah, DD won a um a lovely picture of Moon. Oh, cool. And I can't remember what um what one did you get, Stephen? I didn't write a description down for that one. I can't even remember what it was. Gold nugget. Yeah, we'll, oh, hello. We'll um we wanna package them up, put a couple of, you know, fun things in there as well. Yep. And uh, we'll get them in the post probably this week. So, you know. Oh, you got the scrolls. That's super cool. Oh, that's right. The skulls are always good. Yep. And then, yeah, running off the back of that um, stream as well, there was, I think, Skunji got uh, some messages from a couple of other people who were interested in purchasing some of her art as well. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, pardon me. So, yeah, that's, <laughs> it's good when you get, you know, results like yeah i guess it's effective advertising then dd got stickers too hey yeah, guys get out ed how's it yeah. going mate let's see my earphones aren't working can you hear i can hear but we can hear you it's not connecting Oh. I just I don't I don't want echoes the problem. I'll That's turn you right down. now. You're okay right now. I don't hear no echoes. Well then I will take these off. Yeah, there's no echo, man. And it looks like you're in a sleazy motel. I am. Awesome. <laughs> in Miami. Awesome. Yep. Working as a mule now, are you? Uh, uh, what? A mule. I don't know. Mules work a lot harder than me. But I didn't bring anything to work on, Pam. I'm sorry. Oh, you're uh -huh. okay. You can visit. You can relax I, and visit one night. I have Q-tips and hair dye. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what else I. I it's hatching a plot. It's hatching a plan. Does the um does the motel or hotel that you're in does it provide like pens to write with? Yes. Well, and I also have a sharpie. Well, that there you go. Goes perfectly well with my suggestion, which is you know motels don't always have the most fantastic pieces of art on their walls. Oh. You know, pull one down. Do a little, you know, a little <laughs> subtle addition to a embarrassment. Picture. Here's one of the pieces. Yeah, what so is you could that? Maybe you could make it look like it's an underwater plant, and you could draw some fish swimming amongst the leaves. Yeah. There are some others. Who's that? So is that a body on that bed? There. Ooh, was that a body on that other bed? Um. No, that was my pillows. I took all the pillows off this bed and put them all on one bed. Oh, gotcha. So I'm, I'm like the king of the pillows. I've got yeah. eight pillows on one bed. <laughs> I'm not paying for two pet, 
Too bad to have a lot of pillows. I just realized I have this. And this means I've got a whole bunch of markers. So, I'm at the ALA. Do you know what that is? Libraries Association. Yep. Um, I, I was. I didn't know if uh, Black you would know uh, if they have something like that there or not. But nah, not really. I've been learning a butt ton. Yeah, I saw. I saw a picture on. It was either on Instagram or Facebook of you hob hobnobbing with the elites. Yep. Rubbing shoulders with the famous people. Yeah. I just what or went through a seminar on sex with Dean. I would have never skipped that one. It was fish sex. Oh, okay. I thought I thought you meant it was a, a seminar on sex with Dean. Like how, how then, to do Dean properly. <laughs> they said we could have the the shells that were in, on the tables, so I grabbed a couple. You think this might work for you, Bob? Hold on. Let Look at how big this one is. is. Uh, that looks bigger than what he's got. Yeah. It was the biggest one I could find. Awesome. How, how is it thoughtful. Full? My uh, marine uh, crab, back, and actually in that tank behind me, he's out there on his shell. I can't find anything uh, right. bigger. Yeah. Awesome, he must man. be pretty big, is he? He's huge, yeah. Ed, can I meet you at the state line when you come through and, and get that off of you? Yes. I, you know, I think tomorrow the plan is, uh, let me grab the itinerary. Oh, fancy smancy itinerary. I like your backdrop, Dr. Black. It's different from last time, isn't it? Um, yeah, probably. I like to mix it up. Yeah. I, but yeah, I, because it is an art-themed show, I do like to, uh, you know, put a bit of art behind me instead of my normal sci-fi nonsense. Yeah. The fish oc oh gosh, my batteries are going dead, but I it's plugged in, I think. Well, if I go dead, you know why. Okay. So tomorrow the fish auction starts at eleven thirty. So whenever that ends, Mike and I are gonna get in his van and drive all the way back to Chattanooga. It's about what, twelve? 14 hours? Yeah, I bet. I bet we'll be getting into Chattanooga around three or four. Well, I can wait on the shell in that case. <laughs> I was just thinking that. <laughs> I'll be up, but not out driving. Not with an expired license, an expired tag. What's that is? This is the game oh, cats. Hmm. I have to use a little cat. It's like Pictionary. And I have to draw with the cat on the thing what I want the people to guess. And, you know, it would probably help if I had some... My mouse also broke on the way to Miami, so I have to use my finger, which is not a good thing. Oh, no. Yeah, it, it literally cracked in the back. Oh, no. And it's saying that my battery has to be replaced, and they want me to replace it with a Dell battery. I may have to check out just getting a new computer. Sounds like you got all kinds of stuff going on with that one. Yeah. There's a, the C button's also been pulled off by the cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how ironic that it was the C button. Yeah. I know. And it really stinks because 
my name is Chattanooga Ed, so it's always I have to push extra hard for the Chattanooga. Or if I'm typing my normal name is Ed Chaka, which I have to push extra hard for my last name. So either way. <laughs> And sometimes when I'm typing to people, I press too hard and I get a couple of C's. Nico wouldn't have done that. No way. Oh, I see. Like right down there. I can't do that angle. You'll be looking at me. I kind of feel you on my keyboard. My space bar is wearing out. I have to sometimes like push really hard and off to one side to get it to work. Ed Chewy said they should have some beautiful sword tails there oh man i'm sure man i should have put some entries in because i think i could have come away with some hardware because it's like everybody's more worried about making money at the auction and they aren't putting any of their good stuff in the show huh. and there was like nothing in the show there was only one guppy entry oh wow and i was thinking about bringing four different types of my guppies and there was only one wild molly entry, and I've got some ugly mollies that may have uh, given that one for, I, it would have lost, but I still would have been in there. You and then like only them. one person did an art thing. So next year, I'm gonna bring in a molly, a couple of my guppies, and uh, some type of art. Yeah. And do you get the email that has like the ALA monthly uh, virtual auction thing? Yes, and you know what? Yeah. We had a vote on that. It where I think they're gonna go down to only twice a year. Yeah. Or they're going to make it so they try to make money off of it, like selling advertising or something, because they wow. can't afford to do it on just dues right now. Yeah. I get that too, but on the on the option stuff there. Sometimes there isn't any guppy at all, you know. Oh, yeah. A lot of people here really think that guppies aren't very cool. What's wrong with them? What's wrong with them? I, they're kind of snobby. Mm. Okay. Can anybody guess what this is? Do we do oh, we get like a, I lost my cat? <laughs> <laughs> is it like a, is there a um theme or yes. a category? It is. See what I did there? I said category. Category. <laughs> it's a a flick. As in a film. Uh puss yes. in boots. Close. Puss in Boots 2. <laughs> Mouseketeer. Boy, it's really hard to draw. So tap, tapping, his, tapping his foot. Got a mustache. No. Hold it up there real close, Ed, for the old people like Pam. Does that still oh, look like a mustache? Looks like a big smile or lipstick. There you go. Oh, I, I got to hold the cat down. Chester cat. Cheshire cat. Close. I'm getting close to him. Okay. This might help a little more. Oh, my God. <laughs> stupid cat. Uh, okay. Let's okay. find a new cat. I should probably They're try really to find sure. some type of tape and just stick the cat they down. They should have made them magnetic. A stray, a stray cat strut. And I, by the way, love that song. Close, but that's a, yeah, I do too. Wait, I need a. Cat de decapitation. <laughs> okay, There's remember the, the old picture. There's a band called Cattle Decapitation. They're pretty good. And I'm probably going to be like a Cheshire cat. Smiling like a Cheshire cat. New picture. Same same movie. Oh, it's a movie. 
Yeah, it's a flick. Oh, boy. Oh, of course I get a marker that doesn't work. <laughs> Technical difficulties. I don't want to have to use only red. This is going to be terrible. A two-headed giraffe. Yeah, is it happy feet? There you go, happy feet. So, someone got it in chat ages ago. Sorry, oh. I probably. <laughs> <clears throat> well, good job to have whoever said that first. Um, looks like it was Paul, unfiltered aquarist, and nice then. Uh, job. Nice. Adele came along and got it straight after as well. So they who gets the new car? They have to mud wrestle for that. Well, it's going to be whoever gets fifty right first. <laughs> Whoa, that's going to take a while. We're going to be here for a long time, people. I see get another five-hour stream, Pam. Yeah. <clears throat> people okay. do like new cars. <laughs> <laughs> This is what this cat's going to look like. Oh, he's flying all over the place. What are those cats made out of? Just paper. Not paper dolls. Damn wonder dog. No, I'm watching. Oh, how can you see? Can't really see his eyes. That's better. Um, Rids has come through with a fantastic suggestion that if they're um, if the cats are laminated it's or it's a masked cat. If they're a shiny surface, you could put a little bit of water behind it and it'll um, adhere. Oh! <laughs> God. Is it? Is cat it Bandit. Cat, cat put in America? It is! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Captain America. Oh my God. You oh know what? My God. Let me hunt for some type of a stick on my. Because this is going to drive me crazy. You're supposed to do this flat on a table. And two, you have two teams. So you have people drawing at the same time. And if your team gets their guess first, you get two points. But then you can try to guess the other guys and steal one point. Or if they get it, they get one point. So the first one's always worth two. Oh, I could also show you some stuff from the ALA that I've gotten. Yeah, that'd be cool. Let's see. Up again. Let's see. I have to move all these cats because there's a whole lot of cats. So the first thing is I stole. Well, I didn't really steal, but I I took a whole bunch of these cookie infused brownies. Because they're wonderful. And this is the last one I've got. That was like on the dessert tray. I got Monte Carlo. Nice. That looks really healthy. And I learned a trick today to help grow this stuff in one of the lectures. Uh, if you use a micro bubbler, you know, the little trays... The little bubblers that are flat, round things, and they, they make the bubble super small. It's Yeah, you're putting oxygen, but you're also putting in uh, everything else that's in our air that will help grow that. So it's, I'm going to try to do some carpeting plant with this, or carpeting. So. Yeah, from what I understand, you got to just keep, keep right on it and keep it trimmed. Because if it grows too long, the underneath part dies. Oh, okay. 
I, I bought two bags, and then the guy said, oh, you're going to Aquashella? And I said, yeah. And he says, well, I'm actually going to be throwing away a whole bunch this week. So he's going to bring me a big bag that he's going to be throwing away. Oh, nice. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then I can't pronounce this. Tell uh, Saranthi. Sarantha? Telanthera? Hello, Sarantha. It looks like Telanthera. It's a really pretty plant. Yeah, it is. The stem plant. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it to grow. But this guy had buy two, get one free. So. Oh, great. Got to try to get it back in the water. There it goes. There's one. I took two bags that didn't have much water in them because uh, I didn't want it to weigh too much. Yeah. He had way too much water in some of them. And then... Tell on Thera. 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 Tell on there. Apparently this that's was, how you say it. This was so bizarre. This fish store, we like went on a tour of their fish stores here in Miami, and we didn't make it to this one because we ran out of time. And I was at the show, and this guy had a photo of an old guppy from like the 50s and 60s. And it was very close to the one that my dad used to breed in the 70s. And uh, I said, can I take a photo of that? Uh, it was like an old magazine. And he said, yeah. And well, another guy said, oh, my gosh, neighborhood fish farm breeds those and sells them. And so and they said and they had a booth there. So I ran all the way over there and they said, yeah, we brought a bag of them. And he's looking around for it on the table, and some lady's holding it in the air and says, I'll take this one. <laughs> Tommy. What? <laughs> First time I, I've hunted these old fashioned <laughs> guppies down, and she buys them. So uh, he told me that he would mail me some, and he even gave me a t shirt. I don't know what happened to the t-shirt. I hope I didn't lose it. But I had a t-shirt from him. That was really nice. He gave me that. And then I bought an Oscar pin. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's so weird. Florida has so many Oscars <clears throat> now. It's it's The Oscars are on the game, like, part of the, like, bass and everything else you can catch to eat. Oh, wow. It's a game fish. It's not a invasive fish. Because if it's invasive, they ask you to kill the fish or take it home and put it in your aquarium, but do not put it back in. But with Oscars, you have to, when you catch them on a, a hook, it has to be big enough. If it's too small, you throw it back in. Oh. But what's really weird about the Oscars here is they said uh, because of the climate and everything is different, than what it is, I guess, they're from Brazil or wherever, um, their fins are morphing and their colorations are morphing uh, to a little bit different type of Oscar. So it's actually going to be a Florida Oscar. Oh, wow. And then I also bought that pin. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, that one was so cute. These guys are going to be in Dallas. If you want me to get you one, Pam, I'd be happy to. Well, how much are they? The, they're free. I'll get it for you. <laughs> they're not free, but I, I can get it from you for you. Let's see. And then somebody had the bright idea to make these really stupid ornaments for your fish tank. <laughs> and what? nobody bought these, surprisingly. So they were giving them away free in all the grab bags. You know, is like the the booty that you get like free stuff for signing up. Yeah. Everybody gets two. And 
There's, I actually, I looked it up on the internet. There's 11 of them in the set. I mean, it's so weird. But this one was Mike Howell's. I got this one for in my bag. And then I got this one in my bag. And check this out. She has like mermaid feet. Huh. <laughs> but what's really weird is when I was looking at her mermaid feet, I read this. Look and touch. You can stick your finger in there and touch the naked piece of plastic. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it, it, it feels like plastic. <laughs> Isn't that kind of creepy? Yeah. Well, I find it a little bit creepier that the hole looks a little bit bigger than finger-sized. Right. <laughs> I was, I was not gonna say that, Black. Yeah, it, it ran through my mind, but I was not gonna say it. That means it's for small children, Black. You <laughs> put their whole hand in there. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's what I meant, Bob. That's exactly what I meant. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> they're trying to say that they're copies of aquarium art from the 1920s. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Pam, is that true? <laughs> <laughs> nice job. <laughs> rapid. That was a rapid transit gag. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> but are they is it called the slow the slow mermaid s l o yes is that what's that relevance of that uh, that that was the company that made these naked way back things. in the day right yeah it's just i looked it up on the internet <laughs> i wanted to see how many there were well, you could yeah, look cool if you took when you got home, if you had, like painted it on them, like put some shading and stuff on them. You would think those things would have still been around like in the 60s anyway. Maybe not. I don't know. They're pretty terrible. Yeah. And then I got a little net with a sticky handle. I don't know why it's sticky, but it's weird. A sticky handle? Did that come with the mermaid? Nope. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. Oh, I'm well, I like, guess it did. I'll it was in the same free too. bag. See there? See there? I got a bag of Awazi, or I mean, a Awazi uh, towel. Let's see. Oh, today uh, they were asking, like, question. One of the guys was asking questions during a seminar. And if you got it right, you got a free little thing of cobalt food. Nice. And he threw it at you, so I got one right. Uh, let's see what this is. Oh, this would have been nice for everybody before they left town. One of the little feeder stone things mm -hmm. for feeding. Um, I got some more booty. Let me go grab it. Sure. Don't go there, Pam. Oh, I'm not. I'm being good. I actually I, thought I Ed was. Blackie. I thought he was teeing up a joke then because he was going to go and grab his booty and then he mm -hmm. stood up and pointed his butt at the screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought he was going to two hand himself right on the cheeks. <laughs> actually, I just found out this was the one I won. And this is the one that came in the free bag. So I actually have two little canisters of cobalt. How bizarre is that? And it's the same type. The guy threw out one of every type. And somehow I ended up with the same two. So weird. And then uh, Extreme said I could take two of any type of their food to try. So I took their krill flakes. Good choice. And I took... They're spirulina flakes, nice. which is pretty cool. Yep. And then I, I got an aquarium co-op towel, but I don't know what I did with it. I wonder if somebody snagged it. Oh, I bet it's in my game bag. It is. 
And I got an aquarium co-op bag. Or, uh, not bag, uh, towel. Wow, it's really hard plastic to open. So that's what I got there. Nice. Yeah, they, they got their name on two sides. And then uh, it was really cool because uh, Corey came in late, but Mike, well, not really late, but I went down early to get food, but I picked the best table in the house. So that way I'd be straight on for the big banquet tonight. And Corey and his crew came and sat with us. And uh, when they were picking tables to go first, they picked Corey, of course, to go first. So I got to get my food right off the bat. So that was freaking awesome. Nice. Yeah. And it was really, it was a really good buffet. Cuban people, man, know how to cook. It's awesome. Uh, I had some type of fish that was amazing. Some type of steak with some weird red green sauce that was amazing. And uh, a chicken thing, chicken breast that was amazing. I had some type of rice that the uh, the uh, Cubans cook that was really good. And normally, I don't like rice. The potatoes, eh, I wonder if they eat a lot of potatoes in Cuba. But um, that was pretty cool. But Pam, you should go back to your art side. <laughs> Nobody wants to look at me. Patty said you've got quite the booty in. What else did I get? I, 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 I've been doing pretty good here. It was pretty cool. Hmm. I don't know. It'll, it'll come to me afterwards. Everybody wants to see your booty. Ah, I was showing off all I got close by. Anything besides plants that's alive in? Um... I did get th uh, a trio of uh, German yellow guppies that Mike is going to be putting in the uh, fish tank barn. Mike is going to be putting in the auction tomorrow, but he said I could buy whatever I wanted, and I bought it. He said 10 bucks for the trio, so I, I bought a trio of those. They're real pretty. Nice. And uh, I got his new stickers. Oh, he what do they look like? Oh, I like that. They're real nice. cool. Yeah, they are. For sending out, they're giving out to people whenever they ask for stickers. So yeah, it was it's it's been really fun. For sure. <laughs> you look kind of tired, Ed. Oh my gosh. It's been nonstop. And I I get worn out and I like, I would try to, I'd get like a half hour to 20 minutes between classes and I'd run up to the hotel room and try to take a nap. And it was like, as soon as my eyes shut, my alarm went off and I had to go back down for the next one. Yeah. A little and disco nap. It, it's been tough. But tomorrow they're going to have a food truck uh, here in the morning for breakfast, which is cool, because the place isn't, it's kind of lame. The hotel says they give out free, it's a La Quinta, they always give out free breakfast, you know, when you stay. But they're saying because of the COVID, they can't serve breakfast. Yeah, but they're, I've been hearing. But they're renting the, the breakfast room out for us to have dinners in. Oh, hmm. that makes sense. I mean, I think they're just being lazy. Yeah. Sounds like it. I mean, how do you justify having something catered in this area and saying that you can't give out your free food? But oh well. And I've missed all the hospitality rooms. They're, they're having the hospitality right now. Hey, BJ. Hey, BJ. And, and good day, GRB. Good day. Oh, and you got Derek here, too. Yeah. Ed, I heard on 
on something it had to be on youtube because that's all i ever watch or instagram about something and it was a horse thing and they said whoa nelly, <laughs> whoa, nelly. <laughs> i got so tickled ed was doing that with my driving coming back from nashville <laughs> yeah, <they were. laughs> whoa nelly oh um the internet here is like three bars and for some reason they don't give me enough to upload any of my shorts. Now, I wondered what was going on. Yeah, I can't get my shorts sent. It really makes me bitter, but I can't believe that I'm able to get on live. Yeah. What a but conundrum. Yeah. And every time I do it, I have to type in my password. Let me show everybody the password if you're ever in town. You can get some free crappy internet. Oh, G my gosh. GRB a, said good day, Ed. Oh, awesome. That's a strong sell for that internet. Yeah. yeah. What? I'm pretty sure it's 3701 because I've had to type it every time the computer or the telephone turns off. It won't, like, save my connection either. Oh. Somebody must have told him, you know, don't let Ed send his shorts anywhere. <laughs> yeah. His his shorts have been kind of stinky lately. <laughs> <laughs> the last one or two I saw, you really, they're really coming together. I see improvement every oh, day, Ed. I mean, I'm, I'm, mine are not nearly on that level, but, you know, I, I know a good one when I see it. That's what I'm saying. So, well, I had, I, when I went to those fish farms, I got, I did some really cool ones. And I, I downloaded one of the discus ones at Jack, not Jack Hanna's, at Jack Watley's. Yeah. And, but I shot about eight more discus ones and, or things in his little shop. His shop was super tight. It's like 12 foot across. And then it shoots back like 40 feet back. So it's just like a shotgun. Wow. And uh, they just have tanks on one wall, on the other wall, and then right down the middle. So it's like you walk all the way down and all the way back. Huh. You, you have they do like sixty thousand dollars worth of shipping a day. They send oh, wow. all these boxes out every day, and you have to walk through that. <laughs> and so they're going to open a second store just for the public, so they can, because the public gets in their way all the time. They said. Huh. A nice problem to have. Show you that. Yep. Hey, a lot of people are talking about your shorts now. Yeah. Why are they always yelling at me? I don't know if I know who that is. Is that a new name or just a That's change Pam, of name? It's Pam's that child. Is, that is someone from over on King Frostmare stream. Oh, awesome. And she lets them call her mom, but we can't call her mom. <laughs> Pam told me that I have one that's like in the cookie jar where I can call her anything I want one time. Did hmm. I tell you that? Yep. That was like two years ago, and I've been saving it. I remember that. I don't even remember that. Yep. You said that I could call you even punchy pants, and you wouldn't get mad at me, but I'm not going to call you that. I'm going to wait. Save it up for something real special. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's already forgotten, so now it's really good. <laughs> I, I need to find the email where she said it. I don't know but, if I believe you or not. Wait, I think I showed it to Bob. Bob disappeared. What? He's, he got scared and ran. Did you knock him off? Now, why is everybody still looking at me, Pam? Blackie is a lot more cooler than me. Calm down. Jeez. He is that cool. Yeah. Look at his background. There's Bob. Don't ask me. I'm sitting here petting Yazi, and the other hand's busy, too. And I don't want to know it. I don't want to know this, Bob. The picture just went off. Fabry might be getting kind hey, of Let's see. I wish I was a better drawler. 
I'm pretty good with the colored pencils. No bristles on my broom, not yet, but I'm gonna have to. Hey Pam, have you ever used these guys? No. They're terrible. Just saying. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's very difficult to use. The tip is very much like a paintbrush, and I'm no painter. Clearly. Oh. Has anybody ever heard of nutty chews? No. They're Jew candy. Oh. Is that all right to say, or are you supposed to say Jewish candy? I don't know. Well, I mean, for comedic purposes, Jew candy always is going to sound funny. Oh. Ah. Mm. Well, and I mean, Jews are cool. So, and they make awesome candy. I ate this whole bag in one sitting. There were oh like 20 God. some little mini bars in there. Oh, nice. I couldn't oh, stop. So good. I couldn't stop. They They're like that. peanuts, chocolate, and caramel. What's the, um, mm. what makes them Jew candy? What are the, uh, were the peanuts slaughtered in a kosher method? <laughs> I would imagine. It they, was, were, they were cooked in a gas oven. It's a, I went to oh. a, it's a Jewish deli mm. next door. Oh my oh God, my. damn. <laughs> I gotta go. Okay, I'm I'm leaving now. Bye, everybody. <laughs> yeah, you just lost 10, 10 subs. <laughs> see, that's all the candies well, that I've been eating. <laughs> Let's see. I think I might have some Jewish uh, grape juice in the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> and what makes what makes it Jewish? I don't know. Well, it was at the Jewish store. <clears throat> Everything there was pretty Jewish. You, I think I, you're supposed to do this when you say that. It's Jewish. Jewish. <laughs> well, I, of course, the guy has to make a big joke about my red beard. And then he had his grandson come out and he had a giant big red beard, but it's all natural. He's like, you think he's got a red beard? Oh, that was Irish. I can't do a, a Jewish accent right now, but <laughs> there's a lot of New Yorkers here in Miami. It's crazy. Oh, I've yeah. heard more New York accents in the last couple of days than you'd believe. Yep. That um, that deep ginger hair that the 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 Jewish people do get sometimes is just the most yeah. amazing shade of ginger hair. That's what he had. He had the so big beard of it. Orange, yeah, nice. Yeah, Jewish hair. beard like that. Oh well, you see, it's it's in like Jewish lettering too and stuff. But it, it's made in Brooklyn. So of I wonder, course. where's Patty from? Isn't she? Is she from Brooklyn? No, it's another borough. Um, is it Queens? I think it's Queens. It's from the Hexkeys Candy Corp in Brooklyn. What's the what's the address, or does it give a street address? Uh, it says Brooklyn, New York, in the zip code. That's all it gives. Made in the U.S. of A. I lived in Brooklyn two years. You don't see that very often. I wonder where these things were made, these naked girls. China, I think it said. China. You're <clears throat> the man. I always try and read the fine print. You gotta look for the gags everywhere. I had some oh the cobalt's made in America. It's made in West Virginia. I think most of our fish food is either made in a the U.S. or it's made in uh, Canada. North Bend's from Canada. Yeah, oh, I guess is, she's from Queens. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Hitachi? Oh no, Hora What's the goldfish food? Hikari. Hikari. That's probably I think made in Japan. Do you guys have any special Australian fish food companies there? 
Um, there is a couple of good ones actually, but I can't, I can't actually pinpoint any names. <clears throat> but um, the main cichlid pellets I use for mine are manufactured not too far from here. But yeah, they're like unbranded. They're just mass produced, and they don't seem to, uh, yeah, promote as such. I think they basically make them in bulk for um, uh, fish shops to, you know, cut down into smaller packaging and sell on for a bigger profit. That's cool. But yeah, there's definitely there's definitely companies here that are um, making fish food. Um, Blake or Rumble was probably a better people to ask about that sort of stuff because they go through lots of different types of food. Have you talked to Rumble, Rumble very lately? Why well, I can't speak. Um, not in depth. I mean, we have a, a, what do you call it, a chat group with a few of the Australian fish tubers and stuff in it. We're That's always awesome. banging on about something in there. I found a, a clip I made for him that I made it and then he kind of quit before I could send it to him. He quit? Ron Bull. Oh, wait, no. Who was... <clears throat> who quit? Oh, Rob Bull, you're thinking of. Rob Bull. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I miss him. I he like Rob, so yeah. He's in him. That's why I quit, fam. You ran him off. <clears throat> ran him off. Yep. Yeah, probably. What he told me. Yeah, I am. Um... I tried to track him down for a bit and get onto him and find out what was going on, but I never heard back from him. So I hope everything's okay. Rob Bull, if you're out there listening, send me an email. Send me a message. Let's have a chat. Ed Chewy sending you an email. For Who an is? Idea. Oh, good day, Chewy. Chewy. Oh, awesome. For an idea, he has. Patty. Patty's here. Patty, do you ever eat these? If you could bring, if these are like around your house, if you could buy me a bag and bring it to Kentucky, I'll trade you a bunch of moon pies for it. What else do we make that's good in uh, Chattanooga? Um, what you call, there's a plant here, you know, uh, m and Mars plant here in Cleveland. Yeah, but you can probably get M and M's anywhere. Not these, you can't. <laughs> you can get M and M's from the same town where Bob lives. If you buy you me a bag them. of these, that's right. No, I have a, a Budweiser factory not too far from here. There you go. Well, I grew up in Kansas or St. Louis, so <laughs> we had a lot of Budweiser. Can you? Tell me what a moon pie is, please. I'm going to turn you guys up. I just can't hear you guys well enough. If you guys hear echo, let me know. Okay. Now, can you tell me what a moon pie is? Oh. Uh, yeah, it's, they're kind of like a, a floured cake like almost a pancake and then you take like uh uh what's it a marshmallow topping in the middle then you put another one of those pancakes then another marshmallow then another one of those and then they dip it or submerge it in chocolate or banana or vanilla there might even be a caramel sometimes bath and then they pull it up so it's completely coated 100 percent and that's a moon pie that i do okay. I that's pretty good it's it's a graham cracker like like two saucer sized pieces they make small ones too don't they Ed? yep i think but it's you know like that and just what ed said the cream stuff in the middle and they dip them i don't like the uh whatever the sides are made out of I, think it's I like cracker. them, but you can eat too many at once. Yeah, they're good. They also have uh, moon pie beer here 
Well, not here, but in Chattanooga. It's an IP. <laughs> it's pretty gross. It tastes like beer with melted moon pies. Oh, that's sounds Eddie, great. I could bring you a, a case of those. There you go. <laughs> They're like empowered drink, Powerade drink size cans. You know, the big cans. They come four in a pack. Yeah, I don't know what people are thinking with some of the beer flavors that have been coming out lately. Yeah, I just bought the four for when Kenny E came into town. I thought he should have some because it was from Chattanooga. And he didn't drink any of it. Oh, you can get fried moon pies too, BJ said. Why are you yelling? Says if you put moon pies in the microwave for 10 seconds. They become delicious. Oh. Well, I'll have to try that. Maybe they taste like a s'more. Here's my drawing so far. That's awesome, Pam. What was it? A crested fence runner. Tom Patterson, hello. Hi, Tom. I've heard, I'm with you, Derek. I've heard of them, but I've never tried one before. A moon pie? Yeah. What Stephen think, said there is the way we always they, say them. I don't know if yeah. they sell them here or not. I don't think I've ever actually seen one for sale. I've uh, just we'll heard send you them. some, Pam. RC Cola moon pie, like Stephen said. That's the way to eat them. Today at the convention, they talked about weird fish around the world that they have a hard time studying. And one of them's in Australia. It's a fish that the female lays her eggs on the male's head. What? Yeah, he keeps all the eggs on his forehead. Wow. And they want to study more of it, but they can't because of all the salties in there. Because it's in the mangroves. And there's gigantic saltwater crocodiles all over them, or in that area. And nobody wants to get in the water to study these fish. But yeah, yeah. Kind of cool. The boys actually have like a hole in their head that helps stick the eggs in there. I thought they kind of looked like those uh, horse face. Uh, I think I... I, I did a drawing of that one, Fish Dreams, I think. Was that the heron? I did a drawing and auctioned it off. Was that you that sent me the heron? The horse face loaches? No, a horse face. It's a saltwater fish. It's that big uh -huh. silver thing that has a giant head. They've got one at the aquarium uh, in Knoxville. In oh, we just saw bay. that. Yeah, we just saw that the other day. That big silver guy. Yeah. But they, they kind of don't scare the fish. I'm going to show that drawing real quick because I don't think Fish Stream saw it. And I already sold it and auctioned it, but let me see if I could find it here. Man, I really wish I was at home making something. I don't know if I even posted it anywhere yet. Huh. I think I have a brand new coffee machine that's never been used. Because it's still <laughs> in plastic. Too bad I don't use coffee. <clears throat> Put it in your bag, Ed. Do they charge you for this stuff? Or is this free? That's free, usually. Royal Cup. Rain Sounds Boy. fancy. Look, it has a tree frog on there. Nice. I wonder how many tree frogs they have to kill for each bag. <laughs> <laughs> Just ahead. 
You know, the worst thing about that is now every time I buy coffee, I'm going to think about how many tree frogs died for this cup of coffee. <laughs> hey, J Rock. There's one decaf and two caps. Oh, since I've come to Miami, I've had zero wheat tea. I haven't found it anywhere. Hmm. Oh, you did see it because you you answered on my when I posted it on Facebook. So, so I'm not going to bother showing it. Fishy dream, hey, Andrew. Andrew, how are you? Hey there. Hi, J Rock. Fishy dreams. Do they have uh, sweet tea up there in the north half of Florida? Uh, yes, when I lived in Jacksonville, they did. Why are we always yelling? Because I like my tree frogs like I like my coffee ground up, put in a bag, and left in a hotel room. <laughs> a cheap hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> a sleazy hotel. <laughs> oh, BJ says that they don't drink sweet tea. All the tea that I've seen has been fruit sweet tea. I think it's good. And I don't call that tea. BJ eyes. Good eye, J Rock. Man, Blackie good says good day. So much cooler than I can. It's because I've grown up with it. Good day, J Rock. Good day, J Rock. <laughs> Good day, J Rock. There you go, Ed. Nailed it. Maybe I could be a spy. There's something something about your external appearance that might give you away though. You might not be able to blend into the crowd, as it were. Well, Mike says, well, Ed does have naked dolls in his room, so. Yeah. If, if somebody hired me to be a spy, I wouldn't even know what to be spying on. I'd be going to all the pet stores and writing down what they got. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, they got better neon Tetris down here. <laughs> Good day, fish kid. Is that? New Zealand fish kids from. Hey, Mickey. Now, do New Zealanders or Kiwis say good day? Or good day. Yeah. Well, that's that's why I ask because primarily the um the name that he typed of where he's from sounds like a very Maori type word, but he also used the traditional New Zealand spelling of good day, which is G U D D A Y. Because they have a slightly hey, different accent to Australians, so when they say "good day," it sounds like "good day, good day, mate." Good day. Oh, BJ's clarifying Ed, that she was asking if Floridians didn't drink sweet tea, not saying they didn't. Gotcha. I don't drink it, so I don't. I don't survey who has it and who doesn't. I didn't drink it till I moved to the south, and now I drink it by the gallon. I love the sweet tea. Mm -mm. I cannot. Good day, Mickham, Jenny Lynn. How are we? Andrew knows a guy in Queensland and Victoria, Australia. And he's got he's got the house at Garn spelt properly too. Does anybody in Australia say hiya? Um yeah. I mean I I I will use it in typing, in text and stuff, but I won't necessarily use it verbally. But I've certainly heard it before. I like it when I say hiya to someone and they say, good, how are you? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, that that's that is definitely a common reaction to that. Now that now that you've said that, I can definitely recall yeah. getting that response to saying it because they think you're saying, "How are you?" Yeah. I've been and I've been saying that my whole life. I try not to just because so many people say that back to me. I got some spirulina 20. Oh, this is uh, Sumed fish food. Oh, it's never it's, tried theirs. Me neither. Yeah, hello. Zumed had a really big booth, and they weren't selling anything. They just have like one of each of their pro oh look at this it's kind of open so let's see what it is kind of smells probably a good sign let's compare that to this beer lena zoom ed versus Extreme. Hey, skippers. Zoom ahead gets three percent more. Uh, Look who's here. Oh, <sighs> Skipper and Scungy both at the same time. They came mm -hmm. together. Hi. Think of that, Blackie. <laughs> they came <laughs> together. <laughs> wow. We, we totally planned it. We're just saying, it just happened. I think you got like noise in the background, Skipper. No, that will be me. I'll turn it off. Oh, okay. Hang on. If I can work out how many presses equals off. There we go. It's a fan because <laughs> it's really hot. So oh, I was, yeah, you guys are getting into summer. And, well, it's definitely getting to be winter here. It's not awful. even November yet, and it's so bloody muggy and gross. I've had yep. to um, scrape snow off my car three times now before I went to town. Wow, oh, jealous. <laughs> I, I actually have a question. Who has worked with the botanicals in their fish tanks? Who has what? Botanicals. Yeah, oh, that can be bugs. that can be anything from like I've got um, the tank that I set up for the little quarries that I got um, has some alder growth in it. Yep. Because it's just yeah, good for them. bigger than. I I've bought I've bought botanicals before from different people. I I've got I, some, but I'm kind of saving them to do like I want to do like a black water tank. So yeah, I've been kind of saving them. I've got a lot of top of leaves, and I've got some of the little heart shaped pods from that um, Jesse and sent me from Hawaii, and then I've got a few that I bought, a few things that I bought, but yeah. Maria Z's got some skipper because I sent her a bunch of stuff. I got tired of fooling with it. I've got a Get bunch of it. But I need to go over yeah. to Bob's because he has a bunch of gumball trees. And oh, those yeah. things look awesome in your tank. Bob has some yeah. in his tanks right now, I think. I do a few of them. I'm looking at one actually. Yeah. I love them. I'll pick you up some, man. Oh, I would yeah. love them. Yazi, Yazi will pick you up some. <laughs> the, the the reason why I asked is this person has one, two, three, four different types. That's a triangle pod. Hmm. Then they got the, the banana stems. The oh, and banana stems are super awesome. That one. The, yeah, banana the, stems are cool. 
And, and they get sticky, and the shrimp like to eat the stickiness off them. Okay. I never heard those. So, well, then there's the, the banana. Yeah, they're awesome. And then there's that. Jocker Nanda Pod. So the person that, that's selling them is doing twenty for five seventy five. Five hundred and seventy five dollars. Five dollars and seventy five cents. Oh, Sorry. that is cheap. I missed the deck. Yeah. Yeah. How much is shipping? How much is shipping? Well, that's a dry good to be lesser than shipping fish. And lighter. Mm -hmm. But it still might be a standard bulk of 15. You know, I, I saw that today. I was thinking about getting them. Because I got another 20, 29 gallon tank to set up. And I was thinking about like a black water with something with tannins in it, you know? Yeah. And that showed up on my screen today. I haven't really worked with, I mean, I, I've worked with the older cones, but that's like small, you know? Yeah. These are bigger. Okay. Chewy, I'm going to check to see if I got your email, but if I delete it, resend it. And I'm doing this with my fingers, not a mouse. <laughs> Somehow, every time Chewy sends me something, I, I, I can read it one time, and then it disappears. Huh. Okay, and let's keep talking about that's a Tampa. snore. Skipper. Huh? Or Duel said that's a score. My riddle. Yeah, I think it is, too. I think you ought to get. I think that's there's cool. also uh, 24 count a medium slash large size Indian almond leaves on sale at ten seventy five, ten dollars and seventy five cents. For how many? 24 count. That's a good price too. That is a real good price. I just use the leaves from my um, whatever kind of tree in the front yard. They're really good for the shrimp and stuff. And once they dry, they last forever, don't they, on the shelf? So you don't have to use them all straight away. Yeah. I put Magnolia. the catapa leaves. I, I found catapa leaves is real cheap. I forget where it was. But I put in with the betas and, like, the the betas did like really like better. I don't, I don't know what it is, but well, the the, the uh, tannins help them out. Yeah, yeah. That's the way um, Lisa ships hers and Amber does too with catapa leaves. Well, I've I've heard, so I never experienced it. So whenever I got them, I did it myself, and yep, it definitely worked. They act totally different. Jimmy, well, for one thing, I think that lowers the pH, and they like that for sure. Right. It, it's supposed to put, like, uh, stuff in the water that's supposed to be healthy, too. Yeah. Especially the elder cones. Yeah, some kind of natural antibiotic properties or something. Chewy, I didn't get your email... But I did get, like, Bob's email from today for his show tomorrow, and I got Pam's email oh. for her show tonight. Did that go as an email? Well, I, I get messenger. notes. All my uh, YouTube or Facebook things are, are also sent to my email. Oh, so. oh okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. That should be good uh -huh. tomorrow, Ron. I got a Geico insurance ad. Uh, homeowners 
thing to redo my helm insurance. I got a loan to reach, reach you on your car extended warranty. Yeah. <laughs> I got a it's very home popular. shield. Get your house cooler and better coverage. I got life insurance. Man, I'm getting a lot of junk today. Canvas paint ad. Save up to 80% off on your canvas for painting. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll have to check that out. G'day, Santa Doo Doo. Yeah, nothing. Ed, wait. Ed, wait another 10 years. It's all memory care brochures, uh, prostate medicines, uh, incontinence pads. <laughs> what it, mobility devices i get all that shit and like i'm I, hey i live at home i you know i don't i don't need that stuff not yet it started maybe five years ago oh, god they're just easing you into it bob apparently you start getting a aarp at 55 that's crazy they keep trying to sell me ed pills and it's like i'm ed enough <laughs> yeah, I get that too. I get those too. Yeah. I get those too. Don't ask me why. I, I think we all get them. I get them too. Yeah, you all could grow be... red beards like me. Yeah, I was going to say she could grow her beard better. In, you know? <laughs> She's proud of her beard. The difference is mine's natural. You know what? It don't help <laughs> on the camera. <laughs> it is a good red beard, but it's no Jew beard. <laughs> no, it's, it's a German slash Irish. And part of Indian. <coughs> um, yeah, why are we always yelling? We still call them quarter pounders. Some <laughs> things are still steeped in tradition. Yep. Oh, I don't know my password to my Gmail. Uh, Here, I'll send it to you. Okay, cool. I use Yahoo, not Gmail. Maybe that's been the whole problem too. I think I think one of the main reasons why we're always yelling that we stick stuck with quarter pounder is because 125 grammar doesn't roll off the tongue as nicely as quarter pounder <laughs> well why would you want to change something like a quarter pounder mm. yeah indeed it's it's uh, trademarked also you guys have any other pounds oh. um yeah. That stuff I was telling you is about it's in private chat that who it's coming to too selling it. Do you guys use miles? Like how many miles to get to the grocery store? No. We don't we don't use miles, but there's like we've got beaches that are named for miles. Oh seven like mile beach. Seven mile beach, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Well, the Brits still use miles too, so. Yeah, it's right. funny. We got one it's called Three Mile Island. Skipper, I got all of these Dr. Bachelier foods from that same source and more. I've got two more here. And it was a real good deal. And I keep wanting to do like a, uh, like a review or product presentation on them. I haven't used them yet. So, but I have right. But, uh, oh, but it, he was very like nice. first. He was very, yeah, very nice. Liquid, I have uh, stuff from him also. Oh, okay. Yeah, I found him to be very nice. And he didn't have something that he hadn't taken off the website or it didn't show he was sold out. And he gave me something yeah. that was listed for more, but for the same price. So I said, yeah, give me some of that. G'day, Rack. Well, Rack. Rack, how you doing, Hello. bud? I still need to send him an email. I'm so sorry. He's very busy right now with the kitchen and bathroom remodel. Be lucky I keep my head on straight right now. I don't think it is on straight there, kiddo. 
Yeah, it never was. <laughs> you know, fam, it never was. <laughs> I was going to try to keep my eyes open for cool looking birds down here in Miami. And I've been like indoors the whole time. Even the outdoor farms have like bird netting all around them. So birds can't get to it. Uh -huh. And it's all shaded. So I haven't hardly seen any birds. It's crazy. Oh, it's seen a I, lot of iguanas. I, I watch Rex um, um, live stream for, I've been watching it off and on. You know, yeah, that, me too. Um, today I saw a cardinal. The and bird a feeder. And a chickadee. That's all I saw today, but it's kind of addictive to keep like switching over there and see if you see them. Yeah. <laughs> see what. But see I enjoy it. Bird feeders. Very calming, though. Yeah. It yeah. Is. Very. Uh, kilometers down here, Jay. We just use kilometers now. We still got plenty Sarah, of older people that talk miles. Sarah, how are you doing? I'm doing all right, apart from how hot it is. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'm I'm feeling like <clears throat> dread about summer coming. Summer, yeah. yeah. I don't like summer. I don't like hot weather. And the older and fatter I get, the, the less I like it. So. I'll switch yeah, it. That's probably true for me too. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think that's true for you. But yeah, yeah, I just prefer the cool weather. Yeah. Yeah. That is me. So the only thing I like about the summer is that I get to go swimming because I really like going in the water and getting to go in the creek and stuff like that. It's too cold in the winter to do that. So, you know, that's the one upside to summer and everything else sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and you go swimming in the fresh water? Yeah, that's my favourite because if you go, like, up into the rainforest, and you go near the creek that in, it's it's fresh water so it's beautiful you know compared to the salt but it's also so much cooler just as soon as you get near the water because it's all rocks and shade oh, and nice. so it's just like this sanctuary of cool even if you just go and sit on a rock next to the creek nice, nice. it's beautiful it's so good um but yeah i prefer the fresh water but at the moment i'm like 10 minutes to the beach so i've been trying to go there a bit and swim in the salt water but i don't like the sand very much no you know when it gets it, in it gets in your shoes and i mean you can't get it out of there and yeah it, it gets everywhere especially with the dog because my oh, dog yeah. she loves the beach but yeah i can't get it off her before she gets back in the car <laughs> <laughs> so What's that, Ed? I'm trying to send Chewy my bright email. Oh. Or not e yeah, email. That's what it's called. That's what it's called. Do you, um, is, can one of my mods throw up the uh, racks like bird garden live stream that he has going on all the time? Of course, there's not, it's nighttime there now, but. I would but, type uh, it in text, but or, cool, but Like I say, it's kind of addictive to go in there and see what kind of birds are at the feeders and on the fence behind the feeders. Probably nothing but owls out there now. Probably. Owls are nice to watch though. I wonder if they would go to a feeder. I don't know if owls. What are... if you filled the feeder with mice? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they go then, I'm sure. Looking outside the square. That's a good idea, Ed. Suggest that to Rack. Well, I, I would like to watch that. One of my friends had a fish pond in St. Louis, and something kept eating the koi out of it. So he put like this uh, cage over it to try to keep the raccoons out. And then he also set up one of those night cameras. And it turned out it was a great big owl, and it was coming down and stand using the cage with its hand and sticking its other hand down there and pulling them out, or talons. So he was like assisting the owl mm -hmm. to eat his fish. It's pretty cool, though. Yeah. He decided just to go with goldfish instead of spending a lot of money on koi. Yeah. 
Did the link get posted, Pam? Yeah, Doctor. Yeah, I, I actually, I was just getting ready to post it, and I saw that Doctor Black posted it. Yeah, I did it too, Dan so. Bobby. And Mike did too. The the one I did is what's going on now too. Is there anything showing on it now? Um, no. I wonder if there's a. Is there a way to block people on messaging? Because a long time ago, Chewy was trying to send me text messages, and I kept losing them always. And I wonder if I blocked him. Cool. Are they sending a message to your spam folder? Yeah, I checked the spam folder folder too. If if you can't send it to me, send it to Bob, and I get text messages from Bob. Send so. him a message and see. Congratulations, Danny. Hit 300 subs. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Cool. Nice work, Dude, Danny. That is so creepy, Bob. Because when you said that, I hit enter. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. I have to be subbed to him, but I'm going to log on to YouTube and find out. Have to be subbed to who? To Danny. No. Oh, Danny? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I am, but I should check too because I I know I subbed to Rack and I wasn't subbed to him, so oh gosh. YouTube does weird stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm subbed to him. He's got hundred and one and ninety eight views. hundred and one. No, Danny. I mean three hundred and one. Oh okay. Oh, okay. And you know what? I ought to go to Pam stream right now and hit that like button while I'm in That's YouTube. That's a great idea, yeah, Ed. Okay. Why doesn't everyone follow Ed's advice? Smash Pam uh, is, Pam is uh, I just can use some subs too. <clears throat> and closing he sent in it on to the James. 200. Ed, he sent it to James. Okay. Since I can type right now, I'm going to say hi to everybody, and now I'm going to leave. Boop. He gone. <laughs> so you're, you're still down in Florida, and Yep, I'm in Miami. Yeah, I missed that live stream of you and catching stuff. I got to re watch. You want to see what outside Miami looks like? I've got a balcony at this cheapy, crappy place. Oh my god, it's like so hot. My glasses are fogging up. It shouldn't be uh, hot like this in the summer. I mean in the fall at night. Here comes the car, there it goes. Not very exciting, not close to the ocean. I think I'm five miles from the ocean. Oh, look. There's a house over there with, like, Christmas lights on it. What? Uh -oh. <laughs> Jesus. wonder did they have their it's Halloween decorations up in June? No, what they did was they went to Walmart. It's already set up. They missed the, the sale on Halloween and Thanksgiving decorations. It, it would look really nicely done. So I, I bet you it was like a bar or something on the other side of those trees. It's a bunch hey, of palm yeah. trees. I like that, that name for a channel. Why are we always yelling? Hmm. <laughs> I couldn't hear a word you guys were saying when I was outside. It was too loud. Well, I bet it is down there. So, Bird said to you, Ed. Let me scroll up. A Search for the red whiskered bull bull 
while in Miami. Red whistle. W L. And Bob pushed the button. Bob disappeared. He pushed a button. Bloody buttons. Them damn things getting away all the time, don't they? What was it? The red whiskered bull bull. Red whiskered bull bull. B U L B U L. One L, not two. I'm sending Rack the link in case he wants to come up and say hi. He says he's visiting his mom's burial site this with family this weekend, but maybe he can come join us and paint next weekend. That would be super awesome. Oh man, yeah. But if you want to just come up and say hi, you sure are welcome to Rack, because I've got like I can still add four more people here so it's not crowded. So the red whiskered bulbul is an Asian native bird, but populations have been established around the world, and obviously Florida is one of those places. Asian native Hello. populations have been established. Hey, hey everybody. You, you don't tired. need a haircut. Hello. You look really yeah. tired, Rack. Okay. I hope you are tired and she's just not being rude. <laughs> no, he looks really yeah. tired. It's been a long day. Every day is a long day. Yeah. No, they're always the same length. Yeah, Generally length wise the same. That's that's correct, Blackie. Yeah, Blackie recommended last time I was on a live stream with him that I not get my hair cut. So you took my careful. advice. Yeah, be careful following his advice. That's all I'm saying. It's looking good. I, I wish mine went as straight as that. Well, thanks, mate. I'll, I'll got, pull oh, mine yeah, out you got some body. Well, <laughs> I want uh, you can your hair is long enough to be in my band, Michael. <laughs> Ed, you need to do some work on the link. <laughs> nice cut, Ed. Skipper, you. you guys. I don't know. Bob, Bob's on the borderline. He's yeah, got we're long enough hair to be in a band. I was thinking, is that a is that a fresh haircut on you, Bob? Uh, about two weeks. It's looking good. So me and Ed would be drummers in a heavy metal band. The bold guys are always in the back smacking the drums. The other guys got the long hair up front. <laughs> you gotta have something to throw around when you're up the front. Right. Well, I could wear a beanie like the Edge. Is that a road runner? Yeah, it's the likeness of a roadrunner. It's titled Boulevard Booker. Very <laughs> nice. I'm going to. familiar with turns at the beach. That's a U turn. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a new series of stuff you've got coming out, is it? Yeah, right? I've been doing some doodling. These are guitar picks. You'll like these, Michael. I've been doodling on guitar picks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a green-eyed redfish, or no, green-eyed bluefish right here. <laughs> and I bought and a new been... ukulele, so I'm going to have to write another song. <clears throat> I was hey. just going to say, have you been playing much? Yeah, I got a tenor ukulele. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And um, I wrote, I have, I've got another song written. I've got to learn it. Yeah, I'm, and I'm going to have to repaint my walls. Repaint your walls? Yeah, after I do a rehearsal, all the paint falls off my walls. <laughs> 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 but it's a lot of fun. Thank you guys for your support. Skipper, do you still want me to be on your live stream? Yeah, I just... I am set to date. I have not sent you the email yet. Okay. Well, I, you've got my hopes up. So whenever it works out, 
Oh, that's that's lovely. You, you're you're going slumming then? Yes, he is. <laughs> Love you too. Little she was talking. She was talking to you, Skipper. You're yes, going, she was. You're going slumming. <laughs> No, 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 no. He is saying you're slumming with me. I know what she's thinking. No, I don't yeah. think that's it. I'll hey, take care of you, Rick. I'm a mod over there for him. So I'll okay. for you. Well, I'll, everything's going to be all right then. So we're and good. We got this, this guy. This guy. Yeah. He'll take care of us. If he shows up. If I show up. That's the he thing. might be taking a freaking nap with y'all. I wish. I never had that. Skipper, when yet. you do your live stream, do Blackie and Scrunch Princess show up? Mm. Oh, what I happens? That. No, because they're probably sleeping. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. They may be sleeping then. It must not be a party night. No. No, I think it's like 6 30 p.m at night for you guys is probably before the sun just before right. the sun is coming up yeah he's they're sleeping over there over there yonder. hang on what what time is it now over there so it's uh 12 50. yeah so you take off six and a bit yeah no i mean unless it's been a big night the night before we should be awake by then yes yeah, like, morning for them it's like 14 yeah. hours. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, pick up the name morning. on that one. Hey, Merritt. Sick lid. I <laughs> 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 like Here's a compilation. So, you doing that on like a tile? It's a canvas board. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, and that's permanent marker, and I put a uh, spray fixant on it so it didn't bleed. Oh, nice. Hey, I've been drawing. Let me let me blow you up here a minute. I'm sorry if you were showing stuff that I missed. Because I'm like not. So, uh, Rack, Mike, all things fish, ask what flavor are you sipping there? Um, let me. See. I think it's, I think it's Woodford, but it might be Eagle Rare. Definitely Woodford. Oh, that's right. Mike's not. Oh, I like that. I've got several colors. <laughs> you know, those are guitar picks, right? Yeah, Pamela. I know that. Yep. I I know a few things. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't. Not a I wasn't lot, but I know that. a couple things. <laughs> Here's one Blackie might like. This is Batford. Batford. Yeah. Do you have those in Australia? Batfords? Yeah, I made it up, so I doubt if you do. Yeah, I d I've not heard of it. What's a Batford? It's a hybrid between a bat and a bird. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> this doodling is addictive. Mm hmm. What are you going to do with all those? Um, I think I'm going to start throwing them in uh, with my art auctions on my live stream. When we auction off a piece of art, um, just the small desktop art, I'm going to just throw one of those in. Nice. One of the pieces that I bought from you. Yeah. I sent to my oldest daughter for her birthday and she absolutely loved it. Oh, that's fantastic to hear, Pam. You know, an artist likes to hear that, especially from another artist. 
sleepy bird. I feel like this guy sometimes. Well, she's, she's an artist too, so that's a double compliment. Oh. oh, it is. Thank you very much. Tell her I said thanks. Send me her address. I'll send her some more. That's all I have handy. I put the spray finish on those today. And I think they're they're going to hold a little bit of wear, but not much. I don't think I'd use them as a guitar pick anymore, unless you wanted to. But I wouldn't count on that permanent marker stand on there. You have any experience with permanent marker pan? Um, some. I've got a matte acrylic finish on top for protection, but I don't know if I trust it. It didn't bleed when I put it on there. I was glad for that. I think I've got a river life pick at home. I was looking at it just yesterday. Bird garden? Was it a bird garden or is, is it a river life? I didn't I do mean, any river life picks, just bird oh. garden. Oh, okay, cool. Well, then that's what I've got. I'm out of those now, so Ooh. no more. Actually, I think I have two. <laughs> One for you, one for eBay. That's what I told Joey Mullen. <laughs> Ask him to sign one of his uh, cards at Aquashella. I said, will you sign two? He said, two. I said, yeah, one for me, one for eBay. He got a kick out of that. <laughs> that sounds like the kind of jack that Joey would enjoy. Yeah, he's going to be on eBay. <laughs> he, he tends to laugh at my jokes too, which is quite funny. Who doesn't laugh at your jokes, Dr. Black? Well, you know, um, some people miss the point. <coughs> what did you say, Skunji? Lots of people. No, I was going to say <laughs> that um, I, I I tend to not laugh, laugh at the jokes. <laughs> but then, yeah. Oh. I thought that might be a very nice thing to say. I don't mean it. Cool, Ed. <laughs> but it's, it's the best true. I could do with these things. <laughs> Rock on, Ed. Don't stop. Don't put that pen down. Is that it, your bird? I know it doesn't have any blue, but I, my black was dying. <laughs> hey, uh, check out my uh, video that's going to... It's scheduled to come out tomorrow at 7 a.m. It features the bluebird. I mean, blue jay. Oh. Well, you taught me that they're part of the crow family. Yep, corvids. Which gives them a little more crit. Yeah. Does that include orioles as well? Nope, those are blackbirds or icterids. All right. All right. I was going to try to fold it into a giant guitar pick, but I couldn't. I think that doodling is good therapy. It's helped me out the last couple of days. It's definitely good therapy. Thank you. What are you working on there, Scrunch Princess? Yeah, what are you working on? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> cool. Um, I have awesome. got no idea. I'm just you know, drawing, so I don't know. What oh, it yeah. Is yet. Oh, it's oh, very yeah. birdish. Very yeah. birdish. Already, yeah. Ooh, I like that. So, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it's just been, you know, evolving as I go. Is that watercolor? Um, no, that's ink. I'm using oh, this guy. And an ink. It's just pen. Very yep. good. I see it. Are you I working on anything, Blackie? What's that? Are you working on anything? Uh, look, I, I am, but I'm using this ridiculous pen that I have no control over, so I've just created rubbish. I, like, I don't know. Let me see. see Hold it back up again. She gave me the full screen. Yeah, I like that. It's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that's cool. It is it's cool. This, this, um... This guy, but it's a got brush. Like a, I got the brush tip. 
yeah, yeah it's very very the, very right flexible it. so it's hard to um hard to get decent lines out of it not that i, I ever get decent lines out of anything but it had a good flow i like the flow i've got the same brand but it's a fine tip yeah right oh. yeah definitely um provides plenty of ink but Look at that I black think I'll, it. those are good pens i would definitely need many more pages of practice before i'd learn some techniques with this pen freestyle baby freestyle just go with it i think that's where the fun is when you just let go and then see what happens and whatever different medium you have will sort of act differently and if you stop having expectation and just play with it as it is then it can be really fun because it can surprise you <laughs> Why did the blind guy fall down the well? He didn't see the well. <laughs> he didn't see that well, yeah. Oh, that even makes it sound better when you say it correctly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll put my glasses on so I can see it better. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, what do you think about all this abstract art? What did you say, Rhett? I said, what do you think about all this abstract art? I I like it. The other night when we were looking at it and talking about it, I enjoyed it. I haven't ever collected oh. any, but I do appreciate it. Surely some oh. of your Scunch Princess pieces would be considered abstract, wouldn't they? Well... True. Not, I guess yes. it would be to some people, but to me, I don't really. It you is. I guess technically it is, yeah. But you see the realism in her work. I see where you're going, Bob. I like I, that. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> and I think a uh, princess as an artist is happy not to babysit the viewer, but to let them have the experience that they mm. see. Let them interpret it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what is art without interpretation? Yeah. Yeah. I've Not always art. enjoyed seeing her, her art and people saying, what is that? Or I don't know what that is. And me like, well, can't you see it? It's this, it's <laughs> that, you know. It's something that I, I don't know if I struggle with it, but everybody wants to know the stories behind my art and they want me to tell them, they want me to label it and tell them exactly what it is and I, don't, I, I can't, but I don't want to either. Mm -hmm. I want them to just find out what it is for themselves. And if it has a meaning for them, then that's awesome. And if it doesn't, then they can just let it go. And that's, okay. yeah, so I can't. I, I, did, I did that art show uh, last summer and the paintings had the names of the fish that inspired me to do them. So for all the fish keepers, they saw oh yeah i see how he got that yeah. but for all of the non-fish keepers it was absolutely abstract didn't mean a thing to them whatever that is is that a real name we don't care so it was really cool to get feedback from fish keepers and non-fish keepers okay. bob's always asking me what the hell my work is too all right <laughs> <laughs> all right you told the truth there. <laughs> and Mike what the hell said, is this perfectly penciled bear? Yeah. yeah. What does it mean? What does it mean, Bob? <laughs> I can always see different things in Pam's art, especially when she first starts. <laughs> well, with Bob, it's anything with a butt he likes. And that's Pam. That's not Bob. That's and Pam. You, yeah. you buy it. Anything with the birds, I like. Check out the showed that moose butt last night, and I was straightening up today and found a card that she had sent me with that moose butt on it. Yeah. Everything looks so much better with this filter on it. Can you see that? Check that out. <laughs> yeah. What kind of filter is it? It's an uh, orange filter to make sure that you're uh, oh. you can do saltwater tanks. Oh, 
I've got one of those. Maybe I should try it. Pam, what are you working on? It's a two-headed giraffe. Yeah. I've never seen one of those. According to Mike. <laughs> they're they're rare, very rare creatures. They barely see it past their first birthday. Or not. Whoa, man. Hmm. Yeah, can we have, can we have the sunlight so my eyes can actually oh, yeah. see it? It's a zebra. See that? It's two, it's a, a two bighorn sheep, a female in the back and a young male in the front. Now the I see it. Okay. If I turn the top up. So technically, she's a cougar. That's it there. Right. <laughs> and it's not very good, but you know what the hell? It's just a little card. Pam, it's awesome. Shut up. No. She says that every time she draws something. I don't know. Yeah, show, show us your modesty, Pam. Who gives a oh, shit what they honesty. And I'm sure that more than one person in here realizes that you hate everything. Like when you finish something, you have to put it away for a couple <coughs> weeks and then decide if it's good or not. <coughs> because when you're working on it, you don't like it. Not me, it's going to look like mm -hmm. shit in two weeks if I draw something. <laughs> Excuse me for one sec. Who dropped down, Skipper? You did. Yeah. Skipper went to get a fresh canvas. Yeah. Make, it, <coughs> make him show his fish room rack when you go on there. Okay. That's a good idea. I'm going to be on Rico State stream soon. Tuesday, I believe it. Yeah, Tuesday. That's right. I hope he sends me a reminder. This is the free shirt that they gave me. Let's see what it looks like. That's the back. And then the front. That's a cool shirt. The front has a fish drinking and smoking a cigar. And I think it's. Scarfish. <laughs> Scarfish. So it kind of fits with the Tennessee fish moth. Yeah, it does. Very nice. Does anybody have the Scarfish name? No. You can have it. No. Well, no, you got a better name than that. Yeah, you gave me the perfect one, Todd Father. Yeah, Todd Father. Who has a really big scar? I do. Right here. You could be Scarf. Wait, let's go to Rack's face so we can look at it. No, we're not <laughs> audition for Scarface right now. An audition. <laughs> Scarfish right scar. there. Oh, okay. Perfect. Bloody nice you beard, be the, though. Rack, do you have a fish mafia name yet? No. Oh, no. would you like that as your name? Uh, yeah, that's pretty tough. I think I would get a lot of respect with that name. Yeah, that's awesome. You might even do well in Chicago. Right? Chicago. You know, you know, hey, Blackie, you're going to love this. I live uh, near Johnson City, Tennessee, and that is Little Chicago. Because uh, Al Capone had a house here because it was halfway between Miami and Chicago. Really? Yes. Lots of prohibition okay. liquor came right through here. Wow. Three house. Do they have any good pizza there? Absolutely. Whoa. I'm coming to visit you at Rack. Deep dish Chicago pizza. A lot of that culture spills over. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I love that. 
Yeah, and now they've got a member of the Tennessee Fish Mafia here, so and that's even better. They'll have to update their Wikipedia. <laughs> We're putting the band back together. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be making us t-shirts this uh, probably December. Sounds good. I'll get you a t-shirt. Nice. I'm thinking about changing my name because I really don't like my name as much as I like this new name I came up with. What's what's your current name? My okay, my current name is Hammer Ed Shark. <laughs> but I my, like that. My, my favorite fish is the Megalodon. Megalodon. Oh, yeah. Megalodon. Yeah. So, I do like that better than you. Yeah. Double on Andre. I love Megalodon. So it's like, oh, it just came to me one day driving. I was like, I wish my name would have been the Megalodon. You know, I was like, Megalodon? <laughs> oh, so, yeah. big, big rope, gold chain with a four inch shark tooth. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Are you saying med Megalodon? So you can put the ED in capital letters, like I used to write Redbeard, <laughs> the Megalodon. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Now he is. <laughs> Where'd you come up with all of that? Well, I thought of the name, but Dr. Black 66, check him out on YouTube and subscribe if you haven't already. He gave me the spelling. <laughs> I mean, that'd probably look good on a shirt with all the, all the letters except for the E and the G as little letters and then ED capitals. I'm sorry, I haven't even looked at comments. Danny, uh, I, I discovered your channel tonight, Danny. Congratulations on your uh, milestone. Danny's from my hometown, Rack. Oh, yeah? He's from St. Louis. Holy cow. I mean, that's a great chess town, if you didn't know. I did not know. I knew it was a big bowling town. We have the Bowling Hall of Fame. People from all over the world go to the St. Louis Chess Club. Huh. Not me. Is that is that where the saying mate me in St. Louis comes from? Probably. And most likely. Pam, Pam, Pam have Check. you ever done that? We all say that when we're young with our hands like this. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever done tattoos, Pam? Mr. IMC would like to know. Nope, I never have done tattoos. Why not? Oh my gosh, Pam, we just found a new revenue revenue source for you. Yes. I had um, that company in um, that tattoo place in Miami when I was on Deviant Art. They sent me a, a thing wanting me to come down there and. Um, do tattoos, like learn to do tattoos. But I would have had to move to Miami. And I, don't want to live, I don't want to live in Florida, thank you. Ed said it was hot down there. Yeah, and I don't do heat well. I got married in the Keys, and it was blistering hot in September, and I asked the lady issuing the marriage license, I said, when does it cool off around here? I'm thinking she would say 1130, midnight. And she said a couple of days in January. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. And I, I'm not much for big cities and stuff. And I just don't think I would like living in Miami, Florida. So should we check? So, I told, so I told them no. This is one of the sharpest t-shirts I've ever got at a convention. They even got patches. On the arms. Nice. That's their 50th anniversary. And sponsors on the back. Cool. Pretty cool t shirt. Your other t shirt was cool too. Neighborhood Fish Farm. Whoever came up with that, that's fantastic. Well, oh, it's a really neat fish farm. They've got burial vaults. It's an outdoor fish yep. store here. Mm -hmm. It's all burial vaults. With the I've fish seen in. videos before on YouTube. Did Skipper's pass out? 
Yeah, some someone check on Skipper. Is he still breathing? Send Star over there to check him out. <laughs> Who's breathing? Maybe you should send Lookout. I think look, he, he's, look, he's, I think he passed out. She's double duty all day. She's in bed. <laughs> I wore Chappy on my way down here. Because it's such a big t-shirt, I wanted to be comfortable in the truck or in the van. I think I'm going to wear Godzilla eating E.T. tomorrow. Love it. Nice. I think this will be the t-shirt that I wear to the auction to intimidate people. That is highly irreverent. Megalodon. Unless I go with Jaws. Oh, there you go. There you go. Because these are live bear people, they might really be afraid oh, yes. of the biggest live bear there is. Oh, actually, this is the second biggest live bear. The whale shark is the biggest. Well, I didn't know that. We're learning as well here today. Always Tonight. educational on uh, Punchy Paints live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Oh, well, talking about weird fish that I learned about today. Have you guys ever heard of the Amazon Molly? No. 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 This Molly is only female. Mm. There's no males. So there's three or four other types of mollies that live in its region. It can mate with any of them, but it only uses the male sperm to stimulate the egg to hatch. But it doesn't use any DNA from the egg. What? So it's, it's the most bizarre thing I ever heard. So it's like a clone. They're all clones, but they still need any other molly sperm to activate the egg, but then it comes out as a clone of the mother. So it's a, they only are females. Whoa. Wow. Isn't that's, that weird? That's really interesting. Females are smart, man. They are. Depends how you ask. Hi, <laughs> Skipper. Are you alive? Let's ask Skipper what he thinks. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Skipper? Skipper, what do you say about females? <laughs> Alrighty. How do you, how do you even doze with your hands clasped behind your head like that? It's a southern thing, Blackie. <laughs> oh, I just spit my soda everywhere. <laughs> Well, that's your first mistake, drinking soda, isn't it? Soda. So, Ed, what does this female do with the sperm after that? Um, I, I don't think they really do. Most females don't do much with the sperm. If, are you asking if she spits, Bob? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Let me go get my phone to make sure I'm getting that right. The Amazon. I took a photo of like the, you know, they shot it up on the wall, all the photos and stuff and all what they were saying. Because I wish I would have brought a pad of paper and been writing down notes, but I didn't have that. Damn, that was an easy one and you missed it. They <laughs> <laughs> shot it up on the wall. I tell you, though, I am super excited about these plants. They're so pretty. Nice. Carlos, yeah. I should check and see what people are saying in the chat once in a while. Sarah, what are you working on? Oh, don't go to me. I'm going to look to see what this thing is called. <laughs> Pam, you're silly. There. 
this is what I'm working on. It's coming right along, Pam. Yeah. It looks beautiful. It's the Amazon Molly that uses the semen from, or the sperm from these other fish. The other mollies. Well, how, what if they don't want to contribute to her? Have you ever heard of a boy not wanting to contribute? <laughs> <laughs> Got a point. Molly or a guppy. <laughs> Got a point, especially with those lime bear fish. And but and he I holds the go. It's a kind of an ugly molly, I guess, because they're just the females. There's not much to that molly. And I mean, it's being, it's getting like awesome mollies like this good looking guy, but none of his DNA is getting in her. Hmm. Or, well, none of his DNA is being used. And where is it from? You said Amazon. Is it in the Amazon River? You know, I actually think it's in the Yucatan. I think it's in a lot I of those know beautiful na native swords are down there. That Rio Tapa, yeah, five-inch long tail. Yeah, I mean, that's another one of the males that, or one of the other types of mollies it uses. I mean, look at that sail fin. It's crazy yeah. sail fin. And that's a wild <laughs> fish that has no DNA help. Yeah. Looks like the Montezuma. And then this, they'll use this born guy here. Oh, thanks. I don't know him. And this boring guy right here. You guys are, do you know of the Mayi Swordtail, one of the natives? No, well, but these are Swordtails, not, or these are Mollies, not Swordtails. What's the difference? Um, well, mollies are uh, uh, Pacilia, right? They're part of the guppy group, and swordtails are... But they don't with, mix breed readily with guppies, right? Yeah. Uh, swordtails can't breed with them. But I think swordtails might be able to breed with platties, uh, but I'm not for sure. I think I That's heard it. something about That's that. That's it, Ed. You're right. It is. And you're right. That's, <laughs> I was confused and crossing the two. I don't like this drawing. There's Iphophorus. So basically, these fish have their own sperm banks, their, ch their choice. Yeah, it just. They're. Oh, I think they're called Amazons because of the amazon princess like the amazon women you know warriors that's why they're called amazons but i think okay. they're in the, what, the yucatan or central america chewy might know but uh yeah i think they're central america but they're not they're amazon not because of the river but because of the warrior women did they speak of any socialization um with any of the other molly groups or they just stay isolated until mating no nope. it's just uh it's whatever they're swimming around with in the river or lake that they're in yeah, that would be very amazon like not to cohabitate with the others unless it was mating season yeah well maybe you know when it with wet season and dry season they might get split up that way but they didn't really get too far into those they were just kind of talking about all different types of uh, weird ways fish have sex or reproduce. Skipper's out again. He missed that. That's exciting topic. Skipper. Yeah, he looks his, well gone now, doesn't he? His hands are unlocked. So. Yeah. <laughs> Great show tonight. Wish you could have been here, Skipper. <laughs> I, hey, could, I, could, I yeah. could take him off there. But, I mean, I could take him off, but it's kind of making me laugh. So I'm gonna oh. leave him off. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh. 
These Hello, were the Skipper. guppies that my dad used to have in the 70s with that big white dorsal, the blue body, and the red tail. And they had the old guy, like they had his name that developed this line and everything because he's from Miami. And it was so bizarre. That was the one that I was going to go buy right off their table that they took. Crazy. Are you showing a picture of them, man? Oh, yeah. Let me see. That's the red, white, and blues that my dad used to sell. Because they have a red tail, blue body with a red dorsal. And you and saw them well. there? Yes. Well, the... Like the guy in charge of the place saw me taking a photo and talking to the guy that used like his dad was friends with this guy. His name was Stan something. And uh Shubal. Shubal. Oh, maybe it's on here. Well, I'm not for sure. But uh yeah, I was saying how I wanted that bottom fish. And they said that that's still being sold at the neighborhood fish store and being bred at, well, I think it's a neighborhood fish store and farm. So they've been breeding this line for years. And so he took me over to their, their like their uh, booth. And they said, yeah, we have one bag of them. And we were looking all over for it and we couldn't find it. And some lady was holding it in the air and said, I'll take this one. Uh. So what are the odds that she was looking at the red, white, and blue fish, guppy, I've been searching for for about four or five years now? You should have tackled her in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but it would have looked bad. Wouldn't have and then I wouldn't have got a free shirt. But that, I think that's why the guy gave me a free shirt, because he felt so bad that she bought those right in front of me. Can you go over to the neighborhood fish farm and buy some? Well, he said that he didn't have any females there. He sells just males at his store. Mm -hmm. um, and I won't be able to get it tomorrow. So he said that he would mail them to me. So I'm going to make a deal. And he's already, we've already kind of made a deal on how much it's all going to cost for shipping, handling, and everything to get some. So it's cool. So I will be getting some soon, or eventually. Pretty Hope exciting. So. It'd be great. I'm following this conversation between Danny and Chewy. Oh, I'm gonna keep packing my suitcase. Is Lunatic Fringe Chewy? Yes. Yes. Hey, hey, Lunatic Fringe. That's the name of his band. Oh, okay. Wow, Dan. let's keep it through that while asleep. Whatever he just did. <laughs> yep, no way. A stretch. <laughs> oh, look out. Skip is awake. No. That is gone. That is back. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, lad. You're right, Skip. He's, he's awesome. That guy's awesome. <laughs> hey, yep. Uh, uh, Pam, uh, you got another bunk? I'm, I want to come up. <laughs> Look at him open his eyes. What? He's looking at Ed back there. What in the hell is Ed doing? <laughs> Call the Popo -po skipper. I'm packing up because I got to leave in the morning. It's already morning, bud. Well, the rare auction starts at 11.30. Oh. So, I got to check out before the auction. Yeah. It happened to me at the uh, Keystone Clash. I got to get up and plug my phone in. It's chilling. Oh, I'm going to tell you something. So, the wife is going to triple crown with me. Hmm. Actually, it should be called the quadruple crown, but they don't do that. So the triple crown, she, she's going with, the, with us. 
I don't know what that is. What is that? What's the triple crown? So it's uh, it's four it's four different clubs. It, it was originally three. And uh, Ed will correct me if I'm wrong. It's the ALA ACA. Oh my! Can't look it up in front of me because it's not working. Achilles? Yeah, A A L A A C A. So live bear, uh, cichlids. Bob, it says, Wait, let me help him. It, 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 you I'm need stuck. to connect your microphone and cam before I can add you to the stream. That's what it says. Oh, my blue's not working very good. Mm. Ah, David, Bobby, I'll look for it. Look. No, don't look. Just look at the picture. That's Is this not, another movie? All right. Are we not help we're supposed to guess the movie title? <laughs> no, the name of the other fish group. Rainbow? There you go. Oh. Damn it. I was going to make a joke on that. <laughs> That's like pretty good, though, going. working with limited colors. Yeah, but what's the fifth one? Uh, that Right now, it's those are the four... I think they did talk about maybe somebody else, but it's not a big. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. Killies, rainbows, cichlids, and uh, live bears. Yeah, I I hurried up and I think it was uh, me, myself, and oh, me and Patty were talking about them. I said, "Well, I don't know." I said, "Like when the first uh Room reservations came out with the ACA. Yeah, there's ACA first. Because they're like the main headline. They're, they're the ones hosting it. Sorry, hosting it. And there was a lot of people was like, you can't get a room. I'm like, yes, you can. Because <laughs> I did it and I helped other people out. Well, in tonight's meeting... It's, they said there's actually, it's three hotels in a row. So I think the one that you got was probably the ACA is going to be mostly those people, the cichlids, because I think the ALA people are going to be in another hotel next door. Oh. But the, the, the show is all in one spot. Well, they're kind of considering the city one spot. Because they can't have lecturers. Up. There's not enough lecture halls for everybody's people. Oh. So, they're, so, that, so they're, that means that if you got to travel with the plane? Well, like, once you, but you can pick cichlid. If I want to hear a cichlid guy, I can go over to the cichlid hotel next door or the ACL one tickets is for all the different people but oh, they're going to be having probably like three or four speakers at any given time at a different hotel but it's all next oh. door to each other and that's what i think they waited till today to release that because uh you know they announced that before the ACA could even or the ALA could even tell their fans that where we're going to be located officially uh -huh. so but it'd still be cool to be in the same hotel as everybody else that's my friends. Yeah. That just means that you gotta like plan ahead for what you wanna see. Who you wanna see. Yeah. So you can but, the right place. And but like the rusty wall all the field trips are together. So the not rusty wallace, rusty window. The guy who has the big fish house, Rusty Wall. Oh, yes. Um, well, like you, they said, you got to sign up early to get be able to get that field trip, and they all go up for sale 
November 1st. Field yeah. Trip. yeah. Uh, and I, I do believe you can get a package deal. Mm hmm. Yeah, it'll be fun. We'll have to do some type of YouTuber thing, too, that they aren't planning on, and we'll actually be the fifth group, probably. Yeah. All right, everybody. I'll talk to you all later. Y'all have a good night. Good night, partner. Let me know when our schedule is, Skipper, okay? I sent you an email, right? Thanks, Tom. Before I start falling asleep. <laughs> I'll check it out tomorrow. All right. Y'all have a good day. It's getting late. If anybody, like, if you think it's time to shut down, just let me know. I'm, I'm going to check out too, Pam, but thanks very much mm -hmm. for inviting me up. It's yeah. Special. Remember next day. week if you want to work on something with us. Yeah. If I've got anything going, I'll let you know so I can join you again. That would be fun. Yes, it would. Thanks, Pam. And good night, everybody. Good night, Rack. Everybody remember remember Rack's um, bird live stream that's on 24 hours a day. When it's, when it's daylight, you get to see birds live as they come into this feeder it's kind yeah of, i'll feed them you it's, can kind watch of, it's kind of addictive to watch the bird garden yes, yes. thank you on the bird garden okay. channel that's right yep. all right i'm out love you guys see you okay. good to see you night night, night. well i'm going to keep packing but i'm almost done pam and then i probably should get to sleep yeah Just well we've been we've been hmm. on for um, two and a half hours. So anytime that people think it's time to shut down, I'm okay with that. I, I might go soon to, to jump in the pool. Ah, uh, yes. And I'll, I'll show you my card so far. And then we got to see Sarah's work so far and Blackie's work. Okay. So here's, let me see if I can get better light. Okay, so that's what I'm working on, and I'll probably have it done and ready to give away Wednesday. Oh, Pam, you did so much. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So this will probably be for Wednesday stream to give away. I can get it straight. There we go. And now let's see what Sarah's got. And Bob kind of, I think mm -hmm. Bob's battery died and he can't get back up on Oh, okay. man, Sarah, you really got a lot done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh wow. That's, that's cool. Yeah, it is. I don't, I don't know if it's finished or if more things are going to happen to it, though. So. Wow. That's hot. That is that awesome. Is. I really I love the textures and stuff in that. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the Bob Ross one. Yeah. <laughs> well, it does with all the different textures yeah. and stuff. That's it, actually. That's a good idea. So if I hold it sideways. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yep, that's pretty awesome. That's so good, Thanks. honey. Aw, thank you. Probably yeah. should have saved hers till last. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. That is. Very yeah. cool, babies. And you did a lot of work on it, too. Well, I had to keep trying to work out how that friggin' pen works, didn't I? <laughs> I still don't think I know. I don't even know where I've put it now. It's gone. I may have thrown it away in disgust. Oh, it it uh, fell, fell into the hole the Panadol fell in. Oh, there's Bob just in time. We're just getting ready to leave, Bob. You, oh, missed, you missed. Oh, let's see Sarah's artwork again because Bob's going to love this. <laughs> mm, yes. Oh, yeah, which way do you want it? Oh, yeah, I do love can, that. It's just better to fit when I put it on the side. But Can we can we do it like every direction? Okay. Wow. 
Every every different every different way you turn it, it's got a different kind of animal type thing in it. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, awesome. And, it, and more than animal, more than animal stuff too. Yeah, it pretty works cool. every way. Yeah. My phone was dying, and I couldn't put the speaker in, my uh, speaker in and charge it at the same time, so it went dead on me. Thanks for showing me that. I'll show my drawing one more time because hmm. it's going to be, it'll be, should be ready for Wednesday's giveaway. You got a lot done on it. Yeah. It's hmm. good. And I think we're going to tell everybody good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> I will good afternoon. To thank you, everybody. Thank you. Have for a safe, safe trip back there. Thank you, mods. Be safe, Ed, coming back. I can't wait to get home. <laughs> Drop safe, Fredbeard. <laughs> I only get to be <laughs> home for two <laughs> days before I go to Dallas. Okay, I'm shutting her down. <laughs>